day 14, October 29th. We don't really have a great plan for what we're gonna do here over the next three days, but we do have, uh, I have a tiny, tiny little bit of experience from way back in the early 80s, uh, and uh, some information from the guys here with some suggestions, but we figure for this, uh, for tomorrow morning's hunt, we wanna be back in the timber up on a ridge. So we're gonna jump on the four-wheeler right now and we're gonna putt-putt our way up a logging trail. We're gonna get clear up on top on a great big giant ridge. And that's where we'll hunt tomorrow morning. And then for the afternoon hunt, uh, we're gonna drive around on the truck and we're gonna come in on those cornfields up on top where the deer have been coming out. And uh, we're gonna pick a more of a observation type spot. But the thing is up here, so much of this country is funnels. You know, so you get to, at the end of a point sticking out into a field and it looks like an observation stand, but really it's a funnel stand because the deer go up around those ditches, those big draws that drop away. So even though we might be thinking, oh, we're gonna be watching the field, easily could be a funnel of deer coming around in behind that. So the spot for this evening is gonna be multi-purpose, you know, hopefully on the end of a ditch, but we're gonna be overlooking that top cornfield. Just kind of get an idea of what's coming out. We're gonna have fun. You know, it's, that's kind of the name of the game on this trip. It's not about having uh, all the information that I have when I'm hunting my own farm. Um, this is more about just winging it and uh, seeing if we can get lucky again. We got lucky last Wednesday, Maybe we can get lucky again this week. So I've, I've kind of come up with a plan here. We're on the very top of the ridge here where it narrowed down, very narrow behind us. And here it starts to open up. There's a secondary ridge to my right. There's another one in front of me with a uh, draw between them. And there's a secondary ridge to my left and a really large open, kind of open ridge out in front. So uh, we're gonna start right here in this uh, oak tree right behind me. And then the wind is supposed to be coming out of the north, northwest. It'll, it should blow off, hopefully over the top of any deer on the downwind side. It doesn't drop off real sharp here though, so that's kind of questionable. The best spot I think that we're gonna find is gonna be between this big ridge and the next ridge over down in that bottom. But you know how I feel about hunting bottoms. It's kind of a, a stand location of last resort because you get so much swirling. So I'm gonna get the stand in, and uh, I mean, it gets us started at least. Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by RK Tractors, Ozonics, Redneck Blinds, Wasp Archery, Spot Hog Releases, RTP Outdoors, America's Best Bowstrings, Hoyman Tree Saws, and Realtree. We didn't get set up with more than a minute to spare. As soon as we got in here, got the camera in place, the deer started to come out. There's a four that we've seen so far come out into the field on top here. It's a pretty good trail that runs behind the stand on the downhill side, on the timber side. And all we did was just stash the four-wheeler about 70 yards away along the edge of the timber. So. It's kind of a fly by the city or pants hunt, but uh, that's kind of what this whole trip is all about. So having some fun and, you know, we're gonna see some deer tonight. There's no doubt about that. They're already coming out.
is probably 155, 160. been a lot of fun so far. I was saying to Drake, it's sort of like going to the movie theater and watching a movie. And he said, yeah, it's like coming in right after the end of the commercials. I mean, we got here just in time, got set up, and then the deer started piling out. Something spooked them off the top, though. We don't know what. Um, could be a coyote or something up there. We can hear some howling off in the distance right now. But that was a nice buck. I don't know that I would have shot that deer. Uh, I don't think I probably would have, but um, he was a really nice looking deer. I'm looking straight to the east so I can see the ducks flying up and down the river, big flocks of them, hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands and thousands of them are going back and forth up and down the river. It just feels so good. I mean, I grew up a duck hunter. I didn't grow up a deer hunter. We just didn't have deer. So all this country was, uh, I mean, all this river, you know, river bottom was the Mississippi Flyway, of course, and it was awesome duck hunting. We had incredible public land duck hunting back then. Uh, I think tomorrow morning we're gonna hunt that spot where we put the stand up today at midday. Uh, keep checking back, we're gonna, we've got, six total hunts three mornings and three evenings to try to put it together but we're off to a good start really nice buck this evening